Hey, hi Peter, I'm here for uh, Dupra Electronics and we're at NAM 2017 and I'm happy to show you and your uh, analog zone watchers and listeners a couple of new products starting here in this small little case. Uh, actually the first new product is the case itself. It's a low cost 42 HP uh, case. I didn't do my homework, I came directly from Holiday in here, I don't have the prices yet, but I think it's around 150 euros, I guess, uh, or even a bit less. And you can also see the first modules here, it's uh, the voltage control performance mixer. There was already a performance mixer coming a couple of months ago, and this one is very similar, actually it shares the same output module, so you can actually uh, have a combination of the old performance mixer or the voltage performance mixer um, um, added to this module up to four modules, so 16 channels. And this one has actually voltage control for every parameter. So it also features a couple of new LEDs. Like here you see at the panning there's some modulation, so you can actually really see what's going on. And next to it is uh, the uh, input module for, this, for the control voltage. So um, you have all the parameters that you have here, like the aux, the pan, level, and also the mutes. Um, and yeah, they all have attenuators, and um, it's really funny if you connect it to this little module, the quad envelope follower. Actually, it can run on its own, standalone. It has four inputs, but if you also have the performance mixer, you can connect it internally, and uh, then you just have a normalization of all these channels. So um, I think right now uh, the, the best we could at maximum see is maybe some new, maybe some ducking here. So I have the envelope of this first channel, which is a bass drum, and. If I turn on the voltage control, you can see that here the channel is ducked away. Actually a kind of cheesy effect, but since I don't use a compressor, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, um, this is new, so maybe we just move to another rack for the other news. So I think a lot of people were already waiting for it. The uh, Trapezoid through Zero Quadrature Week Zero. So, um, once again, a through zero VCO like um, the 110 core, but this time not with a sine wave core, but we have a trapezoid core and uh, also the same waveforms that we, we uh, have like the triangle and the sine. We also have them because of this quadrature feature in a 90 degree phase shifted version, which uh, is uh, like the tri. tri Try sine, try cosine. I don't know if you say it like this, but actually it's just the, the, the phase shift. And the funny thing is, if you connect it to a mixer and mix all these waveforms together, maybe invert it, maybe you have a voltage controlled mixer and can even con with an LFO uh, have some movement in this, and you get something almost wave table ish. And of course, the very deep FM because of the through zero FM. And yeah, it's a tiny little bit uh, wider than the other one, but this is just due to all the outputs. The first prototypes we had didn't feature all the outputs, but it wasn't that funny, so you, yeah, you just have to sacrifice some more space and uh, now you have everything in it. Also, another new feature in comparison to the other through zero is real LFO mode. You just switch the switch and now you can have all these crazy waveforms also available as a low frequency oscillator. Uh, then I don't think we need to talk too much about it because it's a very early prototype. But down here you can see the uh, A158 octal uh, voltage controlled switch. So actually it's eight switches, you can switch manually or by voltage control. And if you go to the Dupfer homepage on dupfer.de, you can already see another uh, graphic that features a couple of uh, new things like master and slave groups. So uh, I think this is pretty early prototype. Um, not really new, but uh, still um, not a lot of people know that it's there. We have the A111 2 high-end voltage controlled oscillator, which is very similar to uh, the first one, which was discontinued due to uh, discontinued parts. Now it's available again, 
And the nice thing is, if you want to have the sound and all the features, but you don't need everything at once and also don't have that much space, they are also available in a very tiny, neat little version. Actually, it's the same VCO, it's just, uh, yeah, if you need the space really uh, that urgently, take the small ones and, yeah. Actually, you can do the same, it's just less control, so you have to shape your CVs in advance, and basically that's it.